Um, um, I haven't made a kitchen video in a while, so here I am sitting in my kitchen and I'm gonna just talk. I have a lot on my mind and I'm just going to do a little therapy session right now. Um, yeah, <laughs> I would like to have, oh, I have my avocados ready to be ate and lime. And they also have tortilla chips so I can make some um, chips and guacamole. Um, <clears throat> I was bored and I accidentally messaged my friend Miranda, but I don't really want her to come over now because it's too much, it's just too much. And she want, she's gonna wanna cook and it's just too hot to like cook in the kitchen. This kitchen's hot. Um, you know, I just will eat something really quick and whatnot. <clears throat> These succulents. How do you take care of succulents? Because I don't like. Do you spritz them? Some people say I need to spritz them, and they need sunlight. And I feel really bad because I guess I'm not. I I want to make a painting that says, "Save the succulents," you know. <laughs> but anyway, so basically, let's see. Um, I'm really upset about a few things. So let's talk about that. So I always complain about Mike, I know, but we had tickets to go to Guns N' Roses and he got me a ticket. And suddenly, because I hung out with Sarah, my friend Sarah, he doesn't like her. He thinks that's a reason for him to give my ticket to somebody else. And he didn't even really tell me about that. And then he just said, I thought I told you. And I got really upset with that. And that's kind of like the last straw because it shows he has no respect for me because you don't give somebody something and then take it back and give it to somebody else. You know, so that was really upsetting. And I'm upset because I really want to see Guns N' Roses and he's bringing his friend Scott and I'm just like, if you don't take me, that's it. I don't want nothing to do with you anymore. Like, I'm done. You know, I really can't, <laughs> like, I don't know. I just don't want to deal with him. And he's always, like calling me so many like names and everything and people get sick of it he says that stuff in front of my friends people don't want to hear it <coughs> he's like brings me down puts me down like he thinks it's funny or amusing to belittle and berate me um you know and i've always like kind of dated guys like that that just think it's funny to make fun of me or whatever like tease me i don't know why <laughs> But yeah, <laughs> so yeah, so I'm really upset with that. And he also told my friend stuff I said um, about her and I know it wasn't my other friend, <laughs> you know, so he obviously told my friend something I said out of concern regards to her and her daughter. Um, so I don't know why he would do that. like. Cause he thinks it's amusing and funny to once again put me down and say oh Lori says this about you and all that stuff you know so i'm just like i am just like over it i i, I don't want to put up with it anymore it's not going to change he's always going to be like that um my friend moss um he's always trying to every summer this is a different topic now oh i need to get my nails filled definitely but I want to get a design you know because I'm sick of basic colors it's so high and in the AC uh, <laughs> but anyways my friend Moss he comes to the East Coast because he's always trying to talk to all these girls and stuff and just meet up with them all like i don't know <laughs> like he'll meet one girl from here i'm not one of his girls though that he like he tries to hook up with these girls i guess i don't really know i don't ask questions i don't care i'm his friend you know and that's it like nothing i wouldn't i'm not interested in him uh yeah <laughs> but anyways he comes to the uh comes to the east coast so he rented a car from la and he just drove it a nice mustang convertible and anyway, so he came, he 
he told me about this like a few months ago. He said, I'll be here in July. And at first, <coughs> oh my gosh, I keep coughing. <coughs> Shut up. I hope I'm not getting sick because he stayed here. I don't think he was sick though, but still. I have bananas that are going bad. <laughs> I get bananas and then I forget to eat them. But anyways, um, so, um, yeah. So, he always wants to stay with me and he told me about this a while ago and I was like, absolutely not i was like no way you're not no no you're not coming and staying with me because i didn't want him to but then i was like whatever you know i haven't seen him in a while so i don't care whatever you know i just didn't want him to stay too long so he got here saturday and uh, i put clean sheets on the bed you know for him <coughs> what the hell my nose is like itching I put clean sheets on the bed for him and I just slept on the couch, but I couldn't sleep really good. Um, I don't know. I like sleep on my bed because it's more comfortable, but you know, he has a bad back. He's old. <laughs> nah, I don't know. But yeah, <clears throat> so, so anyways, he was here Saturday. We went out to eat with my other friend we met up with and Mike came over and yeah Mike's just rambling on about me and it's just <clears throat> then we play cards of humanity at my friend Scotty's house and stuff the next day we went to church and then we went to Bushkill Park um with my we met my niece and stuff at church though like see this is what I I can't I mean he's my friend you know and all that but <clears throat> I always feel like <clears throat> like he's staying with me and it looks like he's a guy that I'm hooking up with I guess I don't know I don't want my neighbors to think that because first of all Moss is Moss is not my type he's not and I'm not interested in him and I couldn't even imagine no I don't want nothing to do with him like that and I don't want people to think that because <laughs> I just don't want people to think that you know I like I worry about what people think <laughs> I mean I don't I shouldn't I'm starting to get to that point where I'm not worrying about what people think, but I still do. And I don't want, like, the people, like, I don't want people, I, he went to the church, which, which is nice, but I don't want people at my church thinking, like, that's my boyfriend, like, a guy I'm dating, a new guy I'm dating, <clears throat> or any of that. And he's staying at my house, and, that, and the pe the pras prastor creature, pastor preacher, the preacher, <laughs> whatever. <clears throat> Although he made, you know, he says, it looks bad because he stays with he's staying at my house um you know he's sleeping in my room like um yeah and i just don't want people to think that like i'm dating him because i'm not and he brings a nice car and everything and then people are gonna think stuff like who know you know what people think like sugar dad he's you know nothing though it's not like that at all he's just my friend that comes and visit me but i'm just saying i'm thinking i'm concerned about what people think and this gets me to my next point because he's friendly with everybody like when i first met him um <clears throat> i was going i was at a playboy party because i did an event there for a playboy girls of golf and i met somebody who's famous there and i saw him i from the surreal life <clears throat> and I thought he was really nice and interesting, I guess. I don't know. And I was talking to him. And Moss is friends with him. He's actually, right now, he is in jail because he's on trial. But anyways, that's not right. You know, like, another thing, Moss is friends with criminals and drug addicts. So are you who you keep, the company you keep? You know, like, a lot of people say that. And why is Moss friends with all these <clears throat> criminals? But he's also friends with successful people, you know. I mean, he's friends with people that oh, that are like big time in the music industry. All, um, all kinds of people. He lives in LA. I mean, you're gonna meet all kinds of people, and he meets interesting people, and he likes weird people. I, I don't really know, like, you know, he like he met me, and that's why I'm telling you how I met him was through that party and. 
he was driving his friend to the airport and I just went along for the ride, you know? Um, cause I, I, I don't know. I was just new there. I, I mean, I was in LA before, but I can write a story about that. But that's how I met him. And <clears throat> he just, he just like got in my life and just like stayed in my life and like won't let, let me be. So he's in my life and he's just stuck in my life. So I've known him and I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to explain, but he will ask, when I first met him, he would ask me all kinds of questions. And I kind of, it was nice because he's like, well, how old are you? Where's your parents? Where do you, where'd your parents meet? Like all these like inquisitive questions. Like he studied how to like communicate and with people. I think he has a little bit of Asperger's tendency or maybe a little autism. Like he knows all these like facts and stuff like that, <laughs> you know? Um, I'm not saying anything bad about him either. I'm just saying, I think he's a little bit like has, is on a spectrum or something like that. And he just will ask people questions and stuff, you know, um, <clears throat> he's Jewish. Well, he doesn't practice religion either, but he grew up Jewish and grew up in New York and now he lives out there, you know, I'm just trying to paint a picture I'm not you know that's all um so he will ask people and like a million questions about them he's very inquisitive and even people like who work at the store or a waiter or a valet he'll be like he'll hear they have an accent he's like oh you have an accent where are you from he'll just inquire and it makes people feel special like you know they don't have a problem with him asking I've very rarely seen people get creeped out by him but it's happened before and he he's friendly in that aspect and everything <clears throat> but i've seen he doesn't understand sometimes he can come off as creepy and sometimes he has to like back off a little bit and he can come off as weird like you know that's the thing he doesn't i don't think he gets that and <clears throat> another thing too about he's frivolous with suing and lawsuits and i don't agree with that at all and i have my opinion about a lawsuit involving him and i feel like he i don't know uh, if I say something, it'd be like, why are you friends with him if that's how you feel? I can't prove anything, but that's just my opinion. And that's just like, you know, and I, and I brought it up to him too. And I feel like, like he <clears throat> was being dishonest in a certain case. Um, and I said that to him and I just, you know, I had, and, and then I accidentally told my friend Sarah that about him and now she judges him for that and she doesn't really want anything to do with him. And also, um, <clears throat> but he's always trying to be in my life and he likes to take me to concerts. I don't ask him to do any of this either. Like, I don't. I have beer. Let me grab a beer because I'm going to be talking for a while. So hold on. Oh, yeah. Also, I was trying to twerk. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Just kidding. No, I was trying to twerk before, like. I don't know, I have to like learn how to do it. <laughs> Keep my like <laughs> I'm just being a goof. A goof. But anyways, so he um he always like if you're his friend, he's gonna try to do a lot for you, get you into concerts. I mean I've gone to a lot of places on my own too, like VIP, backstage parties, you know, like all kinds of things around celebrities and whatnot. But he will buy tickets and he'll do a lot. And like I did a lot of fun things with Moss, but it's not expected. And I've never once asked him to anything. I've never asked him to uh, <clears throat> buy me a ticket, a plane ticket. I've never asked him to get me a concert ticket. I've never asked him. <clears throat> he does it because he wants to. That's what I'm saying. Like if you're friends with him, he will do stuff for you. Okay. And he does this stuff because he wants to do it because I'm his friend and he, and he wants to, but I'm not saying do this and he's not buying my friendship either you know and like i would never i told him i don't want your stuff like i said you don't have to spend money on it. like you don't have to buy me a plane ticket you don't have to do this i've told him like i'm not asking you to do this i've gotten arguments with him over about about this um <clears throat> but um so he's always friendly with everybody and he wants to know my family because he is 
because he cares about me that means he cares about my friends and family when you care about somebody you care about who their friends are who their family is etc you know that's just that that's just how it is so um that being said he was at my house my sister was there and her husband and their and um his, his daughter and i guess nobody introduced them um my sister sometimes very um thing about my sister she's really sheltered and she hasn't been out around a lot she's always lived with a boyfriend or whatever she's always lived with a guy and me i've traveled the world and i've seen i've seen a lot like i've been around i've been around a lot of people you know i've traveled everywhere i've worked like i did modeling I, I, you know i just was on tv stuff like that so i know a little bit more <clears throat> Lisa's always thinking the worst of everybody. Um, you know me, I get a chance. I have a good judge of character. I, you know, I don't hang around people that are like criminals or pedophiles or drug addicts. I don't, you know, <laughs> cause I hang out with people I think are good people and people that help bring me up. I don't know. Anyways, <clears throat> I mean, sometimes it's hard. Like I meet a guy and the guys could be controlling to me and or try to be and that's something like you know I don't know why but it's hard to get out of those kind of relationships anyways so Moss asked their daughter who is like a teenager well I guess he found her on Facebook and he said <coughs> he messaged her mm. ooh perhaps I need to eat. <laughs> um, he messaged her and was like, Hi, I'm Lori's BFF. I can't believe we've never been introduced and we were in the same room. Something like that, you know. She was 16, 15 or 15 maybe. <clears throat> and she's like, what the fuck? She said, you know, WTF. And she told, um, <clears throat> you know, Lisa, my sister about it and my niece Sage. And personally, yeah, I think that was out of line. He shouldn't have reached, did that. And now they're like all upset. <coughs> and then Lisa, I guess he, uh, hold on, Sarah's messaging me. 